I can't tell you how important it is that we flip the United States Senate. There's no state more consequential than Georgia in that fight. Democratic presidential candidate America. Joe Biden wrapping up his two-stop tour through Georgia today. 11 Alive's Doug Richards is at the Lakewood Amphitheater. He has more for us this evening. Yeah, this is a, uh, an event in the parking lot of the amphitheater that uh, is commonly known as Lakewood. Uh, an event which uh, is described as a drive-in event where uh, supporters have driven in. Uh, it's incur designed to encourage the honking of horns in approval uh, as well as social distancing as, a camp as campaign events go at least. Uh, the Biden event here followed a much more subdued event uh, and a more symbolic speech uh, that the former vice president and Democratic nominee gave on a hilltop in Warm Springs earlier today. The Meriwether County town became famous 95 years ago when President Franklin Roosevelt founded a rehabilitation center there, which he used to treat his diagnosis of polio. Biden says America needs its soul restored and the pandemic beaten. This place, Warm Springs, is a reminder that though broken, each of us can be healed. That as a people and a country, we can overcome this devastating virus. I think we're uh, glad to have him here to spend some money. Hopefully he'll buy some barbecue from hardworking Georgians, but I don't think there's going to be an electoral vote for, for uh, grabs down here. Governor Brian Kemp led a noisy pro-Trump rally just a few miles away from the Biden speech in Meriwether County. Kemp admits Georgia has become a battleground state, uh, but predicts the Democrats won't beat President Trump this election. Biden delivered a very centrist message during his speech in Warm Springs uh, in an area of Georgia where President Trump did very well in 2016. His speech here uh, is a little more partisan than the one that he delivered in Warm Springs uh, to a clearly Democratic crowd, uh, one that he hopes that the folks here will remember over the coming days as Election Day nears. Back to you.